Hi, my name is Wen Yanxu. I'm from China,、uh, and I'm in an、um, MFA painting program. For intercultural success, I think the first thing is awareness of、uh, what my culture is. The first time I recognize what my culture is is when I had dinner with my classmates in a restaurant. We were talking about religion. When they asked me, "Is there any religion in China?" I answered, "If you mean do we have a regular prayer in a church or temple, I don't think so. But we generally believe in the next life. We believe if we do good things as much as possible, we will live better in the next life. We also believe that whenever we do bad things." The heavens will see it and mark them as a negative prejudice towards the next life. They were surprised. They told me they never heard about that before. And I told them,、um, this may not be a regular religion, but almost all Chinese people around me believe in it. At that moment, I realized that this was not religion but culture, which derived from Buddhism. Taoism, Confucianism, and Lao Tzu's philosophy in thousands of years, and has sunk deeply in Chinese people's blood. Inspired by the awareness, I did、uh, several abstract paintings about Chinese culture. The chaos of the beginning is about Lao Tzu's philosophy of heaven and man. On another painting, the encounter, I expressed a deep meaning. Of a special Chinese word, yuan fen. Well, my classmates also inspired me a lot. They interpreted what I was saying in a different way, in a rational way.、Uh, I remember one of my classmates summarized what I said about the next life. He said, "So you don't think the life is a line from the beginning to the end? The life is made of many lives." They are parallel, and you can jump from this life to another life. It's a wonderful explanation. I never thought about that. It's like a parallel universe and hyperspace. Inspired by his explanation, I created my current paintings, which talk about space-time and emotion. I was so excited using science to interpret Chinese culture through my painting. This is also my outlook, using Western mindset to interpret Eastern culture. Western rational thinking contributes to the technological advancement today. Well, Eastern culture emphasizes emotion and self-cultivation. Globalization creates a new era, in which every culture has a chance to contribute as a benefit. To the human civilization, they will finally become a heritage of all human beings, no matter where they are from. Actually, I don't think culture is permanent.、Um, it's like a, an invisible and soft barrier between people. Someday, it will be melted by more and more international communication, cooperations, interpretations, and love. I'm looking forward to it, and will be making effort to that day.